Yeah, Grand Slam Gentili. And uh, it was very nice. Uh, uh, and um, so my talk is dedicated to uh, Marco Brunella, who is doing um, some of the uh, uh, two of his uh, latest paper uh, consider this problem. And uh, um, I should say that he was a very special uh, person and uh, he took uh, a lot from Alberto, I think, uh, despite his uh, different personality, maybe that they, they share a taste for good mathematics and uh, um, <clears throat> and uh, always um, you know, understating rather than overstating their results. And, uh, okay, <clears throat> so um, a surface uh, it will be a complex surface uh, in this talk. It's a mm, complex manifold of a complex dimension two, <clears throat> and um, <clears throat> with um, um, you know local or holomorphic coordinates, uh, CW, for example, and. Uh, <clears throat> Which uh, induce uh, as uh, Laurent was explaining um, <coughs> a complex structure on the real tangent bundle of S and uh, the square is minus the density, and, uh, and uh, of course, is an integrable complex structure. And, uh, <coughs> So this problem is, uh, of course, uh, about finding uh, appropriate metrics on uh, um, a given surface. So um, <coughs> we take H to be uh, a Hermitian uh, metric. On S. And um, <clears throat> um, which uh, you can always do. And uh, the real part of, uh, of H is a Riemannian metric. With the property that uh, J acts like a uh, isometry. Uh, <coughs> so as um, um, Tetsiano was saying yesterday, J is an orthogonal complex structure on S. <coughs> and um, the imaginary part of H is a two-form. In fact, a non-degenerate two-form. <coughs> the square is a, a the volume of G up to a constant. <coughs> and uh, because the real dimension of the <coughs> so this means that uh, taking wedge product with uh, omega is always an injective map. But uh, because uh, uh, the real dimension of uh, S is 4, taking the um, cap product with omega is actually an isomorphic in this case. Mm. 
Therefore, we always have <laughs> one form. the leaf form of the metric <coughs> such that mm, the differential of omega is omega wedge theta. Uh, so we all know <coughs> that uh, um, theta is equal to zero if and only if uh, um, Omega is a color metric. <coughs> if uh, <coughs> mm, Omega is not zero, but it is exact, <coughs> is it a differential of a Function, then this means that uh, <coughs> e to the f is a color metric. So in this case, we say that uh, G is a globally conformally color metric. And finally, the case we're interested uh, in <coughs> is when uh, this is just uh, uh, closed. So it's locally exact. And uh, <coughs> G is a uh, locally conformal to color. So it literally means that uh, the <coughs> uh, Riemannian metric uh, is um, mm, conformal to a color metric, but uh, locally. Okay. So it does not imply that it is a color metric. <coughs> on uh, S. And, um, <coughs> so the um, question uh, we are interested in today was posed by Weisman. surfaces as J admit <coughs> a locally conformally color matrix. So <coughs> this is usually abbreviated by S. <coughs> and um, <coughs> <laughs> so, of course, um, you see, uh, we all know that there exist uh, very strong uh, topological uh, <laughs> restrictions. For existence of a color metric, <coughs> the easiest, for example, is that um, um, the odd petty numbers must be even uh, on a, of course, on a compact mantle, and the uh, <coughs> even petty numbers are different from zero. Mm. Mm. No, 
but uh, uh, you mentioned too. Mm. Um, and the situation is uh, slightly simpler. I'm uh, using the very um, useful notion of a production metric. It can be proved that uh, <coughs> um, a locally conformally colored surface uh, with uh, um, even uh, B1. So for surfaces, on. Uh, um, compact surfaces, of course, uh, uh, LCK plus B1 even implies uh, globally conformal together. That the metric is actually globally conformal together, so it implies together. <coughs> Therefore, mm, in the case, in this case, B1 equal to even, mm, mm, Weizmann question coincides with the uh, very famous conjecture of Kodaira um, <coughs> that um, mm, That a surface with a um, surface with uh, <coughs> even B1 should be color. Okay, this is true only in dimension, um, this, I mean, makes sense only in dimension, compass dimension 2, of course. And, um, in fact, this is, uh, was proved by CU in the 80s, uh, and uh, um, <coughs> building on the work of uh, uh, other people. And, um, <coughs> and therefore, this reduces um, um, Weizmann question to the case V1 odd, which uh, is the case we'd be interested in. Mm. Another reduction comes from uh, this uh, result of the Shirley. And um, see also a new proof by Muleten School more recently. That, uh, like in the Keller case, mm. Mm. this. Um, mm, uh, property of uh, having a uh, locally conformally color metric is invariant under blow up of points. So, this holds in any dimension. the question of Weizmann, to minimal surfaces uh, with the odd cell splitting of them. This is the interesting case one has to understand. <laughs> Minimal means that uh, it's not a blow up on any other surface. Uh, so it means that uh, 
Here is no uh, rational curve in S <coughs> whose uh, self intersection is minus one. Okay, so we assume this from uh, now on, and we also assume that the first Betty number is. Uh, mm, Uh, odd without loss of generality. Okay, <laughs> so the easiest example in this situation was uh, already presented here. Of course, it's a hot surface. The easiest hot surface. Is a question uh, of uh, uh, C2 minus the origin divided by this uh, simple uh, action, diagonal action, for example, ZW goes to 2Z to W. And uh, in this case, uh, um, the flat metric. Uh, on the C2 minus the origin and divided by this conformal factor <coughs> which you see is a globally conformally color metric <coughs> this sense <coughs> to this um, compact uh, um, <coughs> surface uh, S, which uh, of course uh, is uh, <coughs> smoothly just S1 cross S3, so it cannot admit any curve metric for topological reason, I was already remarked, but is uh, LCK. Okay, this metric is uh, LCK minus. Mm. And um, and other examples uh, on this kind of uh, top of uh, surfaces with uh, object numbers were uh, constructed at the beginning of a uh, you know trying to understand this question. And uh, for example, there is an interesting class of uh, uh, locally conformally colored surfaces uh, uh, produced by Trichery. Um, so uh, um, on the, um, um, on what I call Bombiarini synthesis. These are uh, complex surfaces which were discovered um, in simultaneously, independently, by Inoue and Bombieri in the 70s. And uh, they are uh, solved manifolds. Uh, which are for compact uh, portions of a C cross the outer of plane, but um, mm, uh, uh, <coughs> okay, the, this action is uh, very complicated. <coughs> um, and so this uh, mm, come in uh, three big families of um, uh, compact, complex surfaces, uh, and uh, which have managed to um, construct the local conformity color uh, matrix in uh, all of them except for a one dimensional family 
which is usually called the S plus N and depends on a complex uh, parameter U, which is just a one dimensional. And uh, we could only uh, construct the LCK matrix when U is real. Um, <clears throat> so, um, I think this, uh, there was not much progress uh, um, after this. And, uh, um, oh, by the way, it's important perhaps to remark that this action is so ergodic uh, that um, there is this synthesis, none of them, and meet uh, compact curves. So we usually say that these surfaces have no curves at all. Mm -hmm. So they are very far from the algebraic in any sense. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and um, <coughs> uh, in 99, but more progress was uh, um, done on this question by Godishan Orner. They proved that every off surface is LCK. So a off surface is a surface whose so universal cover is bilomorphic to C2 minus the origin. And the action in this case is very simple, so you can construct uh, the matrix easily. But uh, this action uh, in, the, in the general situation can be, uh, is a more general Hannon map. And, uh, <coughs> and so it's uh, not uh, actually uh, possible to write down the matrix explicitly, but they use a um, deformation argument to show that every of surface is as and uh, <coughs> finally, mm. uh, Bergan, Berguna in the year 2000, in his thesis under Proposition, proved the following important result. <clears throat> uh, you see, um, of course, the other characteristic here is zero, and uh, for example, the other characteristic is zero, also in this case, because uh, actually B2 is zero, also in this case. Um, but more generally, it proved that uh, <clears throat> Let SJ uh, be a compact, uh, complex surface. With, of course, first Bertie number odd, and assume also that the other characteristic is zero. Okay, then. S is uh, LCK. There is an ugly conformally color matrix, except for this surface. So we actually proved that this uh, result was sharp. And uh, um, he also proved that you see that this notion of logarithm formally color is not stable under small deformations. 
is not an open property. And uh, complex deformation. Because I uh, just start with a locally colored surface in with U real, and then in any na neighbor uh, on at this point as a as long as the parameter is uh, complex but not real. Cannot be logarithmic for many parameters. So um, this is uh, <coughs> up, um, different from the Keller situation where um, um, the Keller property is preserved under uh, small deformations. So um, this actually takes care of. Uh, um, of um, many surfaces, all uh, surfaces in class six of the classification, for example, and all surfaces of class seven with uh, um, other characteristic uh, zero. So um, uh, let's um, um, see what's left now. Um, um, so um, we can say that after uh, the Gold's work, Weissmann's uh, question has an answer, which uh, is not always positive. <clears throat> Except for surfaces uh, with the uh, uh, E1 odd, or the first bit number, and uh, um, other characteristic different from zero. <clears throat> uh, but actually, um, so what's left? If you just apply Godaira classification, a complex, <coughs> complex surfaces, then this means actually that d1 of s must be 1, actually 1. The Kodaira dimension of s um, is minus infinity. No positive power of the uh, canonical bundle can have a lower section. And also, the other characteristic uh, is actually positive, <coughs> strictly positive, uh, which in this case is equivalent to say that it is a D1. And the second vector number is strictly positive. <coughs> okay, <coughs> so uh, these surfaces are, these are an uh, important class of surfaces which is for the Mm, seven of plus in a Kodera classification. So seven stands for Kodera dimension minus infinity. This mm, little o stands for uh, minimal. Kodera classification is for minimal surfaces. And this plus stands for the fact that uh, um, the 2 cannot be zero. Okay. So up surfaces are in a class of 7 o but uh, here we look at the class of 7 o plus, where uh, <coughs> the second vector number is uh, strictly positive. And uh, there is no mm, classification of uh, yet of surfaces in this class. There are many open questions. Mm 
for example, do they always emit uh, um, um, curves? Compact form. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Uh, but there is no uh, consideration, there is a, um, <coughs> some work uh, um, uh, <coughs> done by André uh, Telemann in Marseille, and, uh, uh, and uh, he answered this question um, only for B2 of S lesser than equal to 2. So mm -hmm. in that case, uh, it is possible to prove that uh, there, there is a curve, at least one curve. <coughs> uh, but uh, mm, mm. how about examples? The only known examples in this class are so called catosynthesis. <coughs> and uh, it means uh, a catosurface is a surface in this class with this uh, <coughs> over there. Uh, and they can be characterized. Uh, you see, these um, uh, surfaces uh, always have a um, algebraic dimension equal to zero. Algebraic dimension is the. Um, uh, is uh, counts the number of uh, independent holomorphic functions, and uh, so there are the only monomorphic functions are constant. This implies that there can be uh, at most uh, finitely many curves on these surfaces. So a cut surface is uh, just uh, in the best possible situation. Uh, there is. Uh, The maximum possible number of rational curves. Okay, so <coughs> it is known that there are uh, very many curves. In fact, at most, B2 uh, mm, of S rational curves. Mm -hmm. And then this is the limit uh, situation. Mm -hmm. um, so um, we have to look at uh, this class, and these are the known examples. And uh, uh, we would like to address the question of whether there are locally conformally color metrics. And uh, the first examples um, Um, our NCK matrix in this class came from a crystal construction. Mm. <coughs> so it's a joint work with the GT. And uh, we prove that. Uh, uh, Actually, <coughs> we were uh, looking at uh, rather more structure on the surface. So we found uh, by the mission um, and anti self dual. Matrix on mm, so called inner surfaces. So, inner surfaces are a special case of a counter surfaces. They can be characterized by saying that this uh, 
the B2 Russian curves cannot be arranged arbitrarily. Uh, each of them has to belong to a cycle of rational curves. So the configuration of curve, you no, know, it's only every curve is a reducible component of a cycle of rational and it's a <coughs> subclass. Uh, so maybe I would like to say uh, first what is this? Um, first of all, I should say that the germ of the geometric idea occurred to us while visiting Albert and Cornavaca. And um, <coughs> and so um, first of all, Antisat dual means that uh, remember mm, we are in a mm, real dimension four. So in this uh, mm, case, uh, the curvature uh, splits because uh, S4 is not uh, uh, simple. Um, so in this case, the white tensor uh, um, of the Riemannian metric splits in two parts. The Riemannian metric can be seen as a endomorphism of two forms. The two forms splits, so the metric splits, and anti-dual means that uh, w plus is equal to zero for this uh, uh, Riemannian metric. So you see, of course, the notion of locally conformally color metric is a <coughs> conformal invariant, and uh, that this condition is also conformal invariant. So and then B admission means that uh, there is not only one um, orthogonal complex structure, but there are actually two. Which we denote <coughs> by J plus and J minus. And they need not in general be biomorphic, by the way. <coughs> and so with, um, the metric G is the same, and uh, G plus and G minus are orthogonal with respect to G. This is again conformal invariant function, so everything here is a conformal invariant. <coughs> and, um, and in this concept, uh, in context, uh, um, there is a Mm. This is the content of generalized color geometry. As introduced by and in dimension four, um, this uh, generalized color condition uh, is equivalent to having a biomission metric like this. J plus and J minus are both integrable. And the differential equation is that the sum of the leaf form uh, should be zero. See, when um, <coughs> we have an admission metric, uh, you can define leaf form in dimension four. And uh, here, because we have two, we have two leaf forms. And uh, um, <coughs> um, we are the define a generalized scalar um, structure of S when they satisfy this equation. Um, this is a um, link to Weizmann question by a uh, previous result. It says that uh, if uh, you have a um, by emission metric on uh, four dimensional manifold. Mm. 
then <coughs> uh, which is n to say dual would be just a condition of g that condition then the metric is automatically fck and uh, also satisfy this equation so it's a generalized curve <coughs> Okay, so much time. Uh, all right. Um, so maybe um, um, okay, I can say um, um, a corollary of this uh, result. Um, uh, using a recent result of um, Cavalcanti Gualtieri. And uh, our uh, result, uh, one can prove the following that uh, uh, there exists. Uh, uh, Generalized scalar metric metrics on every um, hyperbolic thinware surface blown up. So you see, uh, we reduced. Um, the LCK to property to minimal surfaces. But uh, uh, for this uh, uh, general scalar surfaces, it's uh, important to produce examples. Okay, the first examples, some of the first examples were by Uchin on uh, the Pazza surfaces. Uh, and this, I think, are uh, um, the first. Uh, New examples when the one is odd, and uh, we can uh, even take care of the non-minimal case. So, uh, using this uh, result of Cavalcanti uh, Gualtieri, which I think is 2011, there exists a generalized scalar matrix on every hyperbolic inner surface blown up uh, at points, at any collection of points. On uh, minus k, which is the anti canonical divisor of these uh, surfaces. So, hyperbolic anyway is a special class. And here, exactly in the class in which you don't have just one cycle, but you have two cycles, is the possible, maximum possible case. And uh, this condition is uh, important because uh, this generalized color condition um, I mean, in, in, uh, imposes um, <coughs> some uh, special structure and uh, you, uh, you need to have a section of uh, the anti-canonical bundle in this case. So this is a necessary condition, in fact. <coughs> OK, so um, going back to um, um, Weisman question, um, when this talk, um, I should say that um, 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 a lot of progress was made by Marco Brunella after this. In a sequence of two papers uh, recently, he showed, um, first of all, that uh, uh, SCK is a stable, is um, an open property under uh, deformation.
of other surfaces. So we know this is not true in general by the rule, but um, actually if you restrict to cut the surfaces, uh, a small deformation of a cut the surface is still a cut the surface. And it proved, first of all, that uh, small deformation of a LCT cut the surface uh, is again LCT. And then uh, finally into the, mm, another paper in Toroku, it proved that uh, every cut surface is at sea. Okay. So I think this is a very strong result. Uh, we like to think that um, you know, our work somehow uh, motivated Marco to uh, study this problem, but uh, uh, this result actually <coughs> answers uh, the question of Weizmann who wrote uh, surfaces that we know. <coughs> and uh, of course, because as I said, the classification of a class of no class is not complete. But uh, maybe I should also remark that there is a strong conjecture by Nakamura in the 90s mm, that um, <coughs> every surface in a class 7 or plus is a cut surface. So, as I said, this is a very hard conjecture, and, <coughs> and for the moment uh, we know that this is true only if v1 of s is equal to 1, okay, by work of uh, Andre Kahneman. But uh, of course, uh, catastrophes is the only examples uh, we know in this class. So <coughs> we can say that um, although this answer is not always positive because there is this uh, uh, case of Pongieri universe surfaces. Uh, with the work of Marco, um, we know the answer for all the surfaces that have been constructed. Uh, okay, thank you very much. <laughs>